Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 12 of my Asia Expert playthrough. And uh, I was in the nether, you know, just basically just doing some mining and whatnot. And look what I found. Got ourselves a bastion. Alright. What do we got in here? Now oh, we got some basalt. Got a lot of blackstone. Got pig run. You guys done now? Uh, uh that's from the gas, I guess. All right. Um, that was a lot of guys, like right here in this little room. Nothing up here. Okay. Uh, looks like though. There we go. Go ahead and give us all a sort. Ooh, golden carrot. Nice. Uh, crying obsidian. Guild of Blackstone. Gold sword. Do I need these for anything? Slime daggers. Uh, a few things, looks like. I'll just grab all that. Hmm. Free diamond pick. And... Block of iron, huh? Let's see, there's that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Got to empty that out. Well, let's, uh, yeah, we'll keep that out, I guess, for now. And we can do like that, All right? Easy enough, and I'm hearing lots more piglin. I'm feeling they're not very happy with me raiding their, uh, their fortress here. And how about here? All right. Yeah, I can stay off my hopper, I guess. All right. Have ourselves a donut because why not? Breakfast of champions. And Well, I see that one there. There we go. Hey! Kirk just broke my boots. Ow. Oh, hey, that guy finally went in the lava. Cool. There goes another one. And might as well grab some of that. There's a hog one here. Ow. 
All right, well, <clears throat> moving. Mm. moving on. We've got all the gold blocks in the world. And I think that's kind of it for the Bastion, really. Yeah, let's not just, you know, randomly fall off. It's not going to end well for anybody. There is more up here, though, isn't there? And of course, you know, tons of soul sand, but... You know, I probably should be grabbing more of this stuff. Now, we make a soul torch. One of these. Stick, bowl. Uh, yeah. Might have some of that stuff in here. Got treated sticks. Got dirt. I got coal anyway. I've got soul sand, which is going into my, uh, my dank. And I've got spruce spikes. All right, cool. Ah, uh, dang it. I just Awesome thing. I need a crafting table, so I actually need more wood than that. Right? Yeah. That's the only recipe for it. Not like you can add, uh... Oh, yeah. I really forgot about that thing. Just get rid of those. There's a... Baby Enderman. Mm -hmm. Let's say it was from mechanism. Ow. Yeah, mechanism. He does hit kind of hard, doesn't he? Of course, now nah, I'm also, you know, bootless, so. Uh, and he didn't really drop anything, did he? Uh, do I have anything else that counts as, you know, like wood or... Oh, yeah. I got two logs. Okay, cool. You've got to be kidding me. Really? There. All right. So, stick. Dang it. I didn't grab the clay out of my, or the uh, coal, or the uh, soul sand. And coal. All right. We do that, that, and that. Nope. The soul soil, really? All right, let's try that again. Oh. There. Helps you do it the right way. There we go. Come on, that went right through your dangly bits. There we go. Yeah, dangly bits. I think that's the proper scientific term for them, right? Is this all just like solid blocks up here then? here anyway. Kind of about it though, isn't it? Hmm. I think that's all the loot we're going to get out of here. And let's see. I 
There's all the vines there. Okay, that's from the biomes of plenty. I just... Seriously? Can you teleport that damn far? Yeah, I was going to try to see if holding a soul torch would keep piglins away, but I kind of killed them all. Hey. Down here. I'm not gonna why am I flying? There. Okay. Try box. in midair there for a second. I don't know. Something's kind of borked and yeah. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So AE2 and refined storage are all in the same tab. And I like the new icons for the uh, AE2 stuff here. But let's head back to base. I've got so much stuff to put away now. I just saw that one spawn in. Dang it. <sighs> Alright, so we're back in the overworld and I'm just getting some Molten Blaze going here because, well, it never hurts to have some. And I had a thought. We have Apotheosis here and I've not done anything really... With that spawner besides, well, place it. And yeah, we got silver, tin, and copper in there now. Uh, let's see. What else we need got in here? Eh, nickel. Nickel will work. And what were you? Diamond, okay. All right. I have any ores in here? Yep, I got iron, I got copper, silver. Bismuth needs to go upstairs and get processed, though. So we're currently doing nickel, so I mean silver can go in. And there. A couple stacks of gold, why not? Uh... Let's see. I've got a lamp here next to my computer chair and it's going nuts right now. All right. Uh, yeah, good enough for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. Let's see. Bismuth, that's what I came up for, right? Uh, Crusher is actually done, wow. And let's look up spawner. All right. So sugar decreases max delay. Blocks decrease max delay. Permit spider eyes, gas tears, increase max nearby entities. Prismic crystals increases required player range. Spawn range now. Ignore spawn conditions. Ignores nearby players. Ignore spawn cap. Enables redstone control. Okay, so the spawn egg will change the entity. Inverse the behaviors of the hand. Okay, so 
I just right click these on there, right? So if I go through and say, get like six sugar. That's lovely. And okay, so that was sugar. I think I put it in here. Yep, gas tears. Now, what did gunpowder do? Didn't it do something in the spawner? I'm just to go this way. Uh, no, it didn't. Okay. So let's try putting a gas tier on here and see what happens. The gas tier was max nearby entities. Hmm. Spawn cap is actually what I, or spawn count is what I want. Alright, uh, let's see, anything in here that I need? Not particularly, no. So fermented spider eyes. I'm gonna need brown mushrooms for that. I'm pretty sure I haven't found those yet, really. Um I was just in the nether too, which is like the annoying part of it. Yeah, no, no brown mushrooms. Uh let's see. Well, you can get mushrooms out of botany pots. That's kind of cool. That'll work once I actually get one. Um, yeah, you're at max level now. Can I? No. I run you through a crusher. Yes, yeah, I get four. Okay. And this thing should be done with the nickel and the silver down here now. Yep. There you go. Copper and iron don't make an alloy, so they're pretty safe. Uh, zinc. And I think we're going to go ahead and make a colossal chest as well. So I wanted to speed this up a bit. Did that. I need fermented spider eyes to make it even better. And you're at 34, you're at 34. Okay, cool. Out of 4608 millibuckets in that thing. Really? You're an ingot tank. You're a fuel tank. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let me grab a bucket of this while I'm here. Alright, so a colossal chest, right? Uh, we also have item collectors, which is an interesting thing. An uncolossal chest, the most colossal of them all, is a wood wall and a plank. So, probably just going to go ahead and go with iron, I want to say wouldn't be a bad idea. Grab a couple of those. And I need basically 27. That is 16. 
24, and well, that'll be 32 total, but I only need 27. Right? There we go. And we're going to go for these. 27 of them. Awesome. Now I need a core, which is just a wall plus an iron ingot. And I need an interface, which is just for cobblestone. Uh, get two interfaces. All right, you can have more than one, right? Yeah, turn for pipes and hoppers, yeah. So we'll just do... Didn't I just... Oh, it's going in here. No worries. Oh, that's weird. If you scroll wheel from here into here, it doesn't go with existing stacks. Hmm. All right. Interface. Done. Done. That's silver. Okay. Gold. Diamond, which is, yeah. Definitely not cheap. There are upgrade tools. Upgrade a cloth chest to the next tier when having all required items in your inventory. And that is just a wooden wall and two sticks. So. All right, so uh, where do I want to put this thing? I could just go right here, honestly. Because this stuff's not going to stay here, and it's probably going to lose all the power when I move this thing. Good cardboard box, though. Hey, that retained power. Okay, cool. That works. Right, so if I put it over here... Mm, yeah, I can work with that. Alright, and then this is just going to have to move. So, probably going to forego the drawers for a bit here. Now we're going to put an interface here, and probably have one there as well. Go ahead and put a core in the middle. I get 45, 60. Okay, so. Negative 483, so two blocks apart. Yep, so that can't be a thing then, right? And the back, please. I'm gonna put my core here and interface there. There we go. Alright, and now there's my interface, awesome. I made an extra wall, whoops, oh well. Uh, can I have this back? Oh, that's going to be disconcerting as all hell. You open it, it actually lid actually goes. There we go. Right, so uh, logistical lasers now, right? I need an inventory node. The basic node shouldn't be that bad to make, right? Alright, now I just need a diamond. And I got back up to the basic node anyway. 
And then we're just going to go inventory node. That was quest complete as well. I'm going to put that there. Now the upgrades, right? There we go. Uh, polymorph module, provider, docking extractor. Uh, let's see, which one of these am I going to want? Probably going to need an inserter module too, then, aren't I? Which is just a blank module. I just need a piece of lapis for that. Iron bars and glass panes. Okay. Uh, don't think I have any glass panes left. I had iron bars that I just shoved into here, I think. Yeah. There we go. And we will just do. Like that. I need some gold nuggets. Alright, and we needed... This needs one of those. What does redstone dust look like in this? Okay. I think Unity used to make it look like just a solid line, which was kind of cool. Uh, one of you. One of you. All right now, here's a question: Can I put it? How many modules can I put per? And do an inserter and extractor now. Might be able to. Uh, you know what? Here, love it. We'll just do that. There's my controller. Let's look, touch that up. And I need a laser wrench thing. All right, so you Do I need to know all these inventory nodes on the, I don't think I do. I might. Alright, so... Kind of curious now. If I put this here... And then... Okay. Hey, it's connected. Alright. But I don't think that was the key was, oh, maybe. Uh, let's see. So what happens if I take that out? Yeah, see, I'm trying to see how I can see things in the crafting station. Because right now I can wrap things around without a problem. And I do have items in there, so... What are we looking at here, then? Do I have to have one of these inventory nodes? I much want to bet that that needs to be hooked up as well. Here, let's move that over. Oh, there you are. Okay. Hi. Ow. Get out of the water and come here. Thank you. Um, am 
might need another basic node as well. Let's say if I want you here. Seriously? Alright, so morning I went ahead and slept. And let's see, let's go ahead and unselect like that, select this one. There we go. Mm, yep, nope, okay. Now if I do this, can I... Hey, I can make a filter, okay, cool. Right, so... It's actually taking power now. Okay, well, that's interesting. So, we got that working at least. So, it's actually doing stuff now. 14, forge energy for tick, because everything's linked up. And... If you hold the wrench, you can actually see the lasers moving around. Now, how am I going to want to work this? Alright, so I think I figured out what I was missing, and go, and then we're going to go with an insert module, an empty blacklist. And I thought you were going to work. Are you going to... Nope. Hmm. Empty blacklist, maybe? Hey, there we go. Okay. And if I put my inserter module into there, then I'm probably going to need another inventory node. So one of these. Which is going to be a bit fun to get, I think. Alright. So I've got my inventory node, and... Ah, of course not. Why would you be that easy? Oh yeah, you want iron plates and glass. Oh. Because of course you do. I don't know why I just put iron in there. Oh well, like regular crafting table cleared out. Alright. Now if I want like say a gold chest after this, four gold plates and four hardened glass. Alright, well I was gonna make a diamond chest because there is that quest here. And you want Enderium glass for that. Okay, that quest is not getting done for a while. It's just... That's all there is to it. Um, yeah, we're going to make... I'm not even going to bother with it anymore, actually. But uh, let's go ahead and... For now, you can sit here, I guess. Uh, all right, yeah. Put up my stairway. You can go here. There we go. And vector module, empty blacklist. And you have the inserter module, with empty blacklist. Okay. So if I put anything into here, whoop, it gets pulled out and put into the system. All right, cool. I can work with this. Well, let's get this uh, copper cooked up here too. Oh, there it goes. Alright. So, items are going into here. We've got a decent amount of room in there. And now I just need to get power to this thing somehow. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that quite yet. Because I have all this stuff over here. Eh, I could just make another another set of that. Alright. Well. Okay, you're making power currently. Okay, so you charge up to what? You're at 16%, 17. Is it a time-based thing? Or is it a, like, it looks like percentage. So when it hits 20%, then it'll power dump. Okay. I think I can work with this for now. Oh, uh, here, that can go away for now. 
I have some more, more raw pork chops to put away into here, I guess. Yep, there we go. And I think we have ourselves a basic logistics laser set up, but well, with Colossal Chest, I'll probably... I do have a lot of gold. I do have a lot of gold. So if I go through to here, I have like eight of you. I'm going to need some sticks as well. And one of you. So you plus... That is you. Like, that is chest upgrade tool. Now, what happens if I... So silver would be next then. You have one core, two interfaces, and 23 walls of at least material. So, oh, so, dang it. Right, we're gonna hold off on that for now. Uh, maybe, right. At there we go. Colossal. Uh, let's see. So it goes iron and then silver. I thought I just needed the uh, the actual silver in my... Or I was hoping it went straight to gold because... Yeah, I have 57 silver. I don't have anywhere near enough to upgrade that. But, oh well. That's neither here nor now. Oh, hey, I actually got a diamond out of doing all that coal. The whole reason I did that was to try to get extra diamonds, and well, I did. All right, awesome. Uh, let's see, though. We're going to Aquamarine. Any more liquid starlight? It's getting to be nighttime here. And I can grab this out now, and we'll just do. Uh, we'll do this recipe here. Aquamarine, marble, infused wood, gold. Okay. So it was marble times two, it was infused wood times two, and then I need gold ingot. I'm also going to need my resonating wand. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to make illumination powder and uh, didn't have the starlight power for it at the time. So, how are we sitting here? Got a lot of hearts. There we go. Right now, I'm just kind of killing time till the moon comes up further. Alright, well, we got our star power up high enough. There we go. Awesome. Illumination powder. And we can use that to make mana spreaders. Okay. So, now if I do that, we can make ourselves a plastic resonator. A hey, quest complete. Awesome. And we've got, wow, right here. That is exactly, wow, there's more of it over here, too. This is exactly what I wanted to see here. I just didn't think it'd be that close to where I set my house up. But the blue smoke with the particles, especially. The moderate is blue smoke, right? You know, the blue fog. If you get the little stars inside of it, it's even stronger. So this is the ideal place to set up my altar. So, on that note... We're going to set that up. We're going to go ahead and grab a bucket of this out. And right about here-ish, I think, would be good. Put that down. And I was emptying out my, uh, my tank here. Of even more ores. And I do have more silver. Not enough, though. Uh, tin and copper as well. So, copper and then tin. And that was an extra osmium I accidentally had going. Didn't realize I'd put it in twice. Right, so starlight altar. That is my next step. I need two chisel, four pillars, and a rock crystal.
more of those. I need two chiseled. I need a rock crystal, which I put, I think, into my gems box. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, that one. And we can just go through and be like, hey, you, go in there. And it's going to upgrade our altar for us. Now, I'm also going to have to build a multi- That upgraded a lot quicker than I used to. I have to build a multi-block altar around this thing. So, hey, Raja CTA. Go ahead and grab our tome. Starlight Crafting Altar. Here's our wonderful thing. If you hover over this right here, the little star, it'll show you what all you need. So I need 21 sooty marble, a bunch of bricks, arches, and some chiseled. More chiseled. So bricks, uh, there's marble. Got some chiseled. Got one arch. I don't need any rune for this though. Uh, arch is just two marble. Okay. There we go. And it was like that for the chiseled. I need three coal now. And that'll make us our sooty marble. And bricks, I think, was the last thing, wasn't it, that I needed? One altar, eight chiseled, 28 arches, 24 bricks. Yeah, no, we're good. All right, so, first steps, right? Be a three by three under the altar. And then it's gonna be this shape around the corners. I move that positive resonator off of my uh, off my hop bar, so I quit scrolling over it. All right now, I need bricks. Kinda. Uh, let's go ahead and get our chiseled out as well. Now, chiseled is gonna go there. And music cut out again. And then bricks is going to go like that along all of this. then it's arches along the outside of that and then we have the pillars as well so let's go ahead and get our well chiseled back and marble there we go oh yeah and if you actually go to look at this it's like error, you know, it's not what I need. So it lets you know if your altar's built or not without having to fumble around too badly. But I broke that one. is now setting because it took us a little too long so all right and no more dark spots awesome 
All right. And this thing. Okay, yeah, just reoriented to face the sun. Producing one R up a tick right now. This hopefully will be enough. I'm not 100% certain, but if not, I can always set up more of these. All right, then. So you're done. And honestly, you can just go into here. All this stuff can, really. And then you can have that. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down. And we can just set this up. Now, where did I leave my key? I have no idea. Uh, in here? No, but that is a whole bunch of stuff to get cleared out, isn't it? Oy. And definitely not in there. Uh, yeah. I'll have to find my drawer key, where I left it at. You know what? Here, you can just keep that. The rest of the stuff can just go into here for now. Alright, now, elimination powder can go away. Same with that. Not what I meant to do. But, oh well. Works. Alright, but we've got... Uh, got a, hopefully a better mass storage system. And we've got a crafting station and everything like that. A little bit of power. And now you're draining out. Awesome. Right now it's producing 27. And it's just early morning still, so... So hopefully this will work out. I mean, hopefully. The solar panels, they work a little odd, but oh well. And this one produces 48 RF tick, so. But I figure if nothing else, I can always uh, get into immersive engineering a bit more and hook up a water wheel. That should do the trick for me. Why the hell were you not... Oh, that is just odd. There we go. And done. Yeah, the sound engine is trying to play too many songs at once, so. You not. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, got a pretty decent amount of things done this time. And nothing else, I need to start putting stuff away into my storage system here. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.